Alabama takes down Georgia to win the SEC championship. This was an incredible game. Fantastic game. Okay? And going into this year, it seemed like a lot of people were riding off Alabama. There were people who said that Alabama potentially was going to have two or more losses this year. And you look at how Jalen Monroe started this season out. You know, he struggles against Texas. We don't really know truly what happened for him not playing against USF. And then he regains the starting quarterback job. And ever since then, this dude has improved every single game. And this was his finest performance. Okay, he was fucking fantastic in this game. And... I have money on Georgia winning this thing. And let me tell you something. This dude was so freaking annoying. Every time you thought that Georgia had Alabama's back against the wall and they were going to get Alabama's offense off the field, Jalen Milrow was pulling something out of his you-know-what. He had a great touchdown throw to Jermaine Burton. Beautiful dot. Beautiful dot. He had a really big throw in the third quarter when it was like three Georgia defenders all in his face to keep the drive alive. And then Alabama, when they needed to run the clock down to keep Georgia's offense from getting one more chance to win this game for the Bulldogs, what do they do? They put the ball in the hands of Jalen Murrow and Georgia's defense for the majority of this season, has struggled to stop the read option or the zone read. And Jalen Milrow in this game, he killed them. Absolutely killed them. And this may have been one of the worst performances that I've seen out of Georgia's front seven in a while. Okay? They got way too many athletes and X-Men out there on the defensive side of the football for Jalen Milrow to be doing this kind of damage to them. And, I mean, they did try to contain him. They did have some quarterback spies in there. But anytime they decided to give Jalen Milrow carries on design quarterback runs, the Bulldogs defense, they were unable to stop this dude the majority of times. And it's crazy because he started this game out 0 for 4. He was looking terrible. Things were not looking promising for this Alabama passing attack. But he got better as this game progressed. And this was a masterclass performance out of him. We look at Georgia's offense in this game. This offense didn't have the same level of efficiency and this matchup that they've played with for the majority of the year. For the majority of the year. Okay, their first opening drive, touchdown. And then after that, this offense struggled. Now, they came alive in the second half, you know. But just watching this game, it felt like Alabama was just in firm control. Once the score became 10-7, Alabama didn't look back. And it seemed like Georgia was kind of playing from behind and that missed field goal that they had that was really big also but you did have a penalty that had that field goal pushed back a little bit and I guess that's why they say football is a game of inches as far as should Alabama be in the playoffs absolutely now who are they gonna have to get bumped over I don't know but somebody's gonna have to get screwed Georgia I don't really know if you can really make an argument for them being in. I still think that they deserve to be in, but I'm not on the committee. I'm not the one who makes the decision. There are people who say that Georgia's schedule is too weak, but if you look at who they've played in the month of November, they blew out Missouri, who was, what, a top 10, top 12 team? Well, they didn't blow out Missouri, but they beat Missouri pretty handily. Then they blew out Ole Miss, who also is a top 12, top 10 team. Tennessee, they're ranked inside the top 25, even though they shouldn't be. So Georgia's November stretch has been arguably the toughest schedule this month or this past month in college football. And the committee has seemed to value resume and strength of schedule over everything. And if they're going to hold true to that, then Georgia, they should have an argument to get in. Now, there still are going to be some things that has to happen for Georgia to get another chance of getting in. They're going to need some help. But Alabama, 
to win this game, the snap Georgia's 29 game winning streak, super impressive. This defense, they played really well. And I had concerns about how well Georgia's offense was going to perform in this game because this was the toughest defense that they've played all season long. And Carson Beck, this was the first game that I've watched where he didn't look comfortable. Georgia's starting left tackle, Mims, got injured, and that kind of hurt them. There were a few plays that you look back upon when you watch this game back and you say, yeah, like they definitely could have used him. If he was starting out there, that probably wouldn't have happened. This just was one of those games where Carson Beck, I'm not saying that he looked a little bit rattled, but he definitely didn't look like the same poised quarterback that we've seen him look like to the majority of this year. This defense of the Crimson Tide, they made him absolutely uncomfortable. Now, he did lock in late in the fourth quarter. And he was making some really nice throws, especially he made some nice ones to Brock Bowers. But we didn't really hear too much of Brock Bowers for pretty much the majority of this game. Yeah, he had a couple of plays here and there, but he didn't have one of those all-star performances that the Georgia Bulldogs needed him to have to prevail in this game. Georgia's defense, I said this all season long, and I'm going to reiterate it again. This defensive line is... Not as good as what it has been in previous years. And that's okay. But the defensive line play that we saw today was really disappointing. Because you normally get better performance out of this unit than what we saw tonight. And I'm not surprised that Alabama won this game. I'm just a little bit surprised that Georgia's offense kind of didn't have the game that I expected them to have. I just thought that this offense was going to look a little bit more efficient, and I thought that Jalen Milrow was going to be asked to have to make some big-time throws that he wasn't going to be able to deliver, but he proved me wrong. And it's not like I doubted him. Maybe it's just that I gave Georgia's defense too much credit, but I didn't expect for him to go crazy like he did on the ground in this game. I thought that Georgia was going to have that shit shut down, but apparently they didn't. And they've struggled with mobile quarterbacks all season long. And Jalen Monroe, he killed them in this game. And it shows you just how different this Alabama offense has been compared to previous years. They went from airing the football out with Tua and Mac Jones and Bryce Young to now being the team that's run-oriented. But not only are they just run-oriented, but with Jalen Miro, he has shown the ability to be a pretty effective passer. He's not going to be somebody who has a crazy stat line throwing the ball when he's going like 30 for 35, 500 yards and six touchdowns and no picks. He's a guy who probably is going to give you around 15 out of 27 completions, you know, two touchdowns, maybe a pick, but he's a dynamic quarterback on the ground, and his athleticism definitely was a large reason why Alabama came away with the win. He was just making big play after big play anytime Alabama put the ball in his hands. It's like he was playing backyard football out there. But Alabama takes home the SEC championship. This was probably Nick Saban's best ever coaching job at Alabama. If you go back and you look at some of my earlier content, there are people who had doubts about Alabama's ability to win the West this year. LSU was a really popular pick among a lot of fans. The quarterback situation was a big reason why. And it's funny how the biggest weakness that people thought for Alabama coming in was the quarterback situation actually ended up being the strength in the biggest game of the season. They pulled off an upset. I definitely feel this was an upset. The majority of people that I watched talked about this game had Georgia winning, and they also had Georgia covering. But Alabama, you know, they, they came ready to play in this game. You saw how they nearly lost to Auburn. And like I was telling people, you can't judge a team based on the previous week. Because in college football, the same team that you saw last week isn't the same team that you're going to get the following week. Same thing with Auburn. Going into that game, they were coming off an embarrassing loss to New Mexico State. So for Alabama to have this big turnaround and within the week, it's not that surprising. Although I picked Georgia to win, I was a little bit skeptical about this game. I was on the fence between both of these teams, but I thought that Georgia's defense would have had a better performance of slowing down this Alabama offense. 
And at one point, you know, Georgia did have a little bit of the momentum on their side, but Alabama just had Jalen Milrow, and he just wasn't willing to allow Alabama to lose this game and not walk home with that championship. But yeah, man, like you, you can't judge teams based on what happened the previous week. This isn't the first time this has happened either. A couple of years ago, 2021 SEC Championship, Alabama had barely beaten Auburn. It took them multiple overtime periods to close out that game. And Bryce Young and those boys, they went berserk on against Alabama. And, you know, it was a pretty big upset at the time because not only did a lot of people pick Georgia to win that game, but most people thought that Georgia was going to dog walk Alabama. And I had a homie of mine that before this game started, he was like, man, JT, you really picking against Alabama? It's like, man, it's not that I don't believe in them. I just think that, you know, Georgia is just a better team. But Alabama, they look like the better team today. Honestly, once they went up 10-7, they were in firm control of this game. But Alabama beats Georgia in the SEC championship game 27-24. to Let me know your thoughts on this game down in the comment section down below. And make sure that you check out the JT Sports Podcast. Every episode of the podcast is available in audio format on all podcasting platforms. Apple, Google, Spotify, Amazon, wherever you get your podcast from, you can find the JT Sports Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, rate our podcast five stars on Apple and Spotify. And I'll see you guys shortly with another episode.